How many times are we going to have to talk about scams? Whether you drive for Uber or Lyft, fact is, scams are real. What up, folks? Once again, it is indeed your boy Tim with another ride-sharing video. I don't believe in picking up anything other than human cargo. If someone have you pick up, if you go to somebody's house to pick up some shit and they tell you ahead of time before you get there, it's a package, it's paperwork, it's an envelope, it's a box, beware. It certainly could be part of a scam. We talked about uh, the Ohio Uber driver that was murdered by a homeowner, an elderly man, who was in the process of being scammed. Well, here we go again. Here is indeed what could have easily been another exact copy of that case. It's come from an article titled, North Carolina Live Driver Caught Up in Grandparent Scam Saved Grandfather from Losing $6,500. Now, you know how these scams go. Whereas in this case, the alleged grandson, this is a scam artist posing as the grandson, calls a elderly man, in this case, the guy is 79 years old, posing as his grandson, tells him, Grandpa, I got a broken leg. I believe it said he had a uh, broken nose, stitches, was in a vehicle. There was an open container in the vehicle. He was involved in an accident. He has been taken to jail and needs $6,500 to be bailed out. That is the, the gist of this scam. Now, here are the actual details. A Lyft driver based in eastern North Carolina, Kimbler, had accepted a fare to pick up a person who later called and said she would actually pick up important paperwork from a Pamlico County home. This is what we're talking about. When they tell you it's paperwork, it's a box, it's a backpack, don't fall for that shit. Now, in this case, the old man is the victim of the scam, but they're using us. They're using Uber and Lyft drivers to facilitate the scam by having you go pick up the proceeds and drop it off somewhere else, which to some degree makes you involved in the shit. Certainly leaves you open to be asked questions and things like that, but Here's where it gets crazy because I want to. This is a scenario of a what would you do? This leaves a lot of opportunities for the Uber driver. <laughs> I don't want to say entrapment, but shit, we're talking about a lot of money here. Listen to how this goes. Lyft driver Lori Kimbler was worried about the man who wobbled on a cane to her car and asked for a little more time but never returned. So she knocked on his door to make sure he was okay. So this old man, 79 years of age, comes to her car. She arrives to pick, pick up the passenger, which was supposed to have been him, he, or better yet, the uh, package. Because remember, she's not, even picking up a, she's not even picking up a person. She's been advised she's picking up important paperwork. So when she arrives, an old man with a cane comes out to the vehicle. And he is telling her, give me a little bit more time. So then he goes back into the house and he's taking so long that she goes and knocks on his door to see what the hell is taking so long to see if he's OK. 79 year old man. Are you OK? You told me to hold on. You're going to bring out the paperwork. Check out what she ends up finding out. The 79 year old man was sitting at a kitchen table covered with cash. I'm still counting the money, Kimbler said he told her. Can you help me? He asked frantic and struggling to count out the bills as his hands shook. So he's sitting at the table counting out that $6,500, asking the Uber driver, can you help me count the cash? Now the Uber driver, Lori Kimbler, has discovered what the paperwork is she's coming to pick up. This old man is being scammed and he's trying to put together $6,500 that the scam artist posing as his grandson has told him to give to the Uber driver. Now, at this point, the Uber driver kind of knows what's going on, is being asked to count the money. I don't, I don't even want to ask you folks what would you do, because this is the point where if the Uber driver wanted to, they could sit down with this old man who's shaking 
counting money as slow as hell and start putting a few bucks in their pocket and counting the rest. This Uber driver could have easily also robbed this uh, old man if she was that type of individual because now she realizes he is being um, he's being scammed. So do you guys get anything like this? Whereas you show up to pick up a package or you show up to pick up a person and they tell you it's a package or something like that because I don't do it. I'm just going to say that don't do it because obviously in this case, if she had a took the money and was, let's say he put it in a FedEx envelope or a box or something, she didn't know what she was delivering and she just uh, took the money from point A to point B. If this goes to police, they're going to come to her. They're going to make her prove that she was not involved in it because after all, the money could stop with her. It's not like the scam artist posing as the grandson is going to report it to police. So if she, sh now she see him counting out, what is it? 64, 6,900 dollars or what? 65, 6,500 bucks. She witnesses him counting out 6,500 bucks. After he's done, cause obviously he must have more if he's counting out 6,500, but if he's going to give her $6,500 and she knows he is being scammed, this is the point where she could take the money and keep it and not take it to its second destination. Now, she could tell authorities later on she dropped it off somewhere. Obviously, the scam artist is not going to call police. So she could literally drive to that second destination as any app. She has a destination. Once she, you know, uh, flags that she's arrived on the trip with Uber or Lyft or wherever she's taking a trip for her, the scam artist is put in a destination where she's supposed to bring the money. She know the old man is being scammed. She knows she has $6,500 in her possession. She doesn't have to drop it off. The scam artist is not going to call the law and say she didn't bring the money here. The scam artist wants nothing to do with the police. So she actually could rob this old man of $6,500. What would you do if you was in this situation? Would you just call police? I'm assuming most of my viewers are good people, but that is $6,500. And keep in mind, she will lose money because obviously there is no trip knowing that this person is being scammed. You call, if you do the right thing, you're calling the police. The police is going to come. The trip you were on will be canceled. So the money you spent or gas you spent driving to this old man's house, that's on you as a driver. And there is no trip from there. So as a driver, you've lost a few bucks in this, not to mention who knows how much time, because the police may have a few questions for you. They want to know, you know, what's the destination, things like that. It's a total loss to the driver to do the right thing. So I just want to ask you folks, have you had folks uh, tell you you're going to be picking up boxes, packages, backpacks, envelopes, and how did you respond? Would you go ahead and do it? Do you feel kind of odd about it? I'm not a fan of picking up non-passengers, and I don't believe in picking up children. But let me know in the comments. Thought this was interesting. I'm assuming all you folks are innocent, or better yet, uh, honorable, and you wouldn't have kept none of that old man $6,500. Let your boy know in the comments. As always, feel free to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.